What's good? You now tuned into Let's Talk Music. I'm Nun Illa. Today we're gonna talk about whether you should be doing singles or albums as an artist and everything in between. Check this out. First thing you gotta realize is as an artist, you haven't established your name yet. What's the point of doing a whole project and putting out something where people have a whole project of you that they don't know? They're not going to go seek it. They're not going, the money you put enough for that project is going to hurt you. You need to get to a point primarily to focus on singles. So you should be cranking out a nice hot track. Maybe line up two or three, but focus on one really hot track. Perform that track everywhere. Send that track to the DJs. Get that on some record pools. Make sure you got that on your social media, your Instagrams, your Twitters, your Facebooks. Had a right graphic. Had a video behind it. Push that to your YouTube. That song should be what go ahead and get you established as an artist. You want to push that as much as possible. Now, you're probably asking, why shouldn't I do an album? Because I can do an album and I'm this hot. Here's the thing. How much money do you have as an artist and how much money do you have in your budget? What can you do? If you're spending a lot of time in the studio, granted, you don't always know what song is your hottest, so you do need to record a lot. But if you're spending a lot of time to make 15, 20 songs, 30 songs, 40 songs, however much you think you need to get to your album, and you're not putting out content for others to know who you are, no one's anticipating anything you're dropping. You need to drop a song, promote that song, push that song, put your budget behind getting that song as much exposure as possible. And then you need to continue to repeat the cycle. Either do it again for two or do it for three songs. However many songs until you feel like you had a right level of buzz until you are in demand. Once you are in demand, then the climate as far as you dropping an album is a lot better. What's the point of dropping an album when no one is looking for your project? It's the same with an EP. Like, artists want to drop EPs. And don't get me wrong. You need to give people something to have a taste of what you have. But you want to make sure that you're giving the right amount. If you're a singer, your guidelines are a little different. I mean, I would suggest even pushing more cover songs just to show your vocal range and your ability with stuff people are familiar with on your social media. You're pushing something to where people can go, oh, that's dope, he or she can sing. And then once you start getting that under wrap, then everyone's like, okay, maybe I wanna hear something original. I wanna see what else they can bring to the table. If you're a rap artist, you have to kinda ask yourself, where is your angle? What is your single gonna be? How are you gonna push that? And remember, if it's your single, you need to go to the proper areas. I talked about that in another video. Make sure you're targeted in the right spot. If you have a club single, make sure every club in your region, in your city, in your state, in your bordering states, at least the DJs know who you are. If they're hard to reach, keep hitting them up. You have way too many avenues as far as getting in contact with DJs. And you need to learn about record pools as well and stuff to get your stuff pushed. When you have your single, make sure it's properly formatted. Make sure you have the DJ version. Make sure you have the, what they call the DJ pack. So you're gonna have your instrumental, your eight bar intro on a dirty and clean version, an acapella version. Talk to your engineer or talk to a DJ specifically if you, if you have any questions on what you need to have prepared for them. And look, Another key thing, this is extra game. Care about the DJ like you want them to care about you. Give them a DJ drop. You know what a drop is? A drop is something like this. Yo, this is none illa. I'm in the mix with DJ. Yo, this is none illa. I'm tuned in to DJ on FM. Yo, you now checking out DJ so-and-so in the mix. Give them some love. Record that. Get access to your studio, to the mic, to whatever you have. Some people even do it on their phones. But show love to those DJs. Ask if there's anything you can do for them. 
shake hands, kiss babies, do what you got to do and make sure you build those relationships so you can push a single. Make sure it hits the blogs. Even though blogs are kind of dying out a little bit, don't go out your way to pay for a lot of blogs, but make sure you're hitting blogs. Make sure you're getting reviews on vlogs on YouTube. Make sure whatever your single is, you hitting every avenue to where new audiences can get it. They can discover it. That'll be the biggest difference. That's why I say don't do an album. Because if you do an album right now and it's not anticipated, you got to walk to everyone and say, oh, I think um, track six is the best. Oh, I think you might like track eight. You know what? Maybe four. My best song is, is track nine. Give your energy towards a song that you can push and perform and kill and get in people's head over and over and over. That's how you're going to build it up. Anyway, this is a little bit of game for you. Y'all know the deal. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share. We got some more coming towards your way. I'm out.